Chapter 7, Round 1. Let's go over the rules, said Mr. Porky. I will ask each team a question. Blah, blah, blah. Ten seconds to answer. Blah, 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 blah. One point for each correct answer. Blah, blah, blah. Then a lightning round. Blah, 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 blah. And one final question for both teams. Blah, 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 blah. blah. There may be a few trick questions in there too, so stay on your toes. Sometimes it's hard to turn the pages. Why should we stay on our toes? That made no sense at all. I was going to sit on a chair like everybody else. Before we begin round one, continued Mr. Porky, please join me in singing the Porky's Pork Sausage Jingle. Two fifth graders from our school orchestra came up on the stage with violins. They played while Peter Porky sang. Porky's pork sausages, the best sausages in the land. Porky's pork sausages, you can eat them with your hands. What a dumb song. I don't approve of these violins, I whispered to Andrea. Quiet, Arlo. I looked over at that doofus Tommy. He was still picking his nose. Okay. Let's get started with round one, said Mr. Porky, reaching into his pocket. I'll flip a coin to see which school goes first. Call it heads, I shouted as Mr. Porky flipped the coin. Heads it is, said Mr. Porky. Elementary school gets the first question. Is everybody ready? Ready, Andrea and I shouted. Ready, Morgan and Tommy shouted. Okay, said Mr. Porky. Which president had a pet raccoon that would roam around the White House? What? I didn't know that. Why would anybody know that? I looked at Andrea. She shrugged her shoulders. I'll give you a hint, said Mr. Porky. The raccoon's name was Rebecca. Come to college, shouted Andrea. That's right, said Mr. Porky. One point for the elementary team. Everybody cheered. Andrea smiled the smile that she smiles to let everybody knows she knows something nobody else knows. I leaned over to her. Wait a second, I whispered. You didn't know which president had a raccoon, but you knew the name of the raccoon? Yes, Andrea whispered back. That was weird. The next question is for Dirk School said Mr. Porky, name two presidents who signed the Declaration of Independence. Morgan and Tommy whispered to each other for a few seconds. John Adams and Thomas Jefferson, Morgan said. Correct, said Mr. Porky. The score is one, two, one. Wow, those Dirk dorks are smart. The next question is for Ella Mentry, said Mr. Porky. 57 people signed the Declaration of Independence. How many of them were women? I had no idea. It's a trick question, Andrea shouted. None of them were women, and it's not fair. Right, shouted Mr. Porky. Very good, Andrea. The score is two to one. The next question is for Dirk. Name two presidents who signed the Constitution. Morgan and Tommy whispered to each other. George Washington and James Madison, shouted Morgan. Car said Mr. Porky. It's all tied up at two to two. Isn't this exciting? Elementary. Which president grew up on a peanut farm? I had no idea. Jimmy Carter, shouted Andrea. She is really smart. Right, said Mr. Porky. Three to two now. Dirk, who was the first president to ride in an airplane? See, Andrea whispered in my ear. I told you they might ask that question. Teddy Roosevelt, shouted Morgan Brocklebank. That's right, said Mr. Porky. It's now tied at three to three. Elementary, Thomas Jefferson and John Adams did not sign the Constitution. Why not? I had no idea. I looked over at Andrea. What are you looking at me for, she whispered. I thought you knew everything, I whispered back. Well, I don't. It would help if you knew anything. Maybe those guys were in the bathroom when the other guys were signing the Constitution, I whispered. Don't you dare say that, Arlo, Andrea whispered. A buzzer rang. Time's up, said Mr. Porky. They didn't sign the Constitution because they were overseas at the time. Thomas Jefferson was representing the United States in France, and John Adams was doing the same thing in England. Ooh, the audience groaned. 
I should have known that, Andrea said, slamming her fist against the table. It's still tied up at three points each, said Mr. Porky. Dirk School, who was the first president to have electricity in the White House? Benjamin Harrison, shouted Morgan Brocklebank. Correct, said Mr. Porky. The score is now four to three in favor of Dirk. Elementary, you can tie it up again. Only one of our presidents was born on the 4th of July. Who was it? I had no idea. Andrea didn't look very sure of herself. Grover Cleveland, she finally answered. No, sorry, said Mr. Porky. The correct answer is Calvin Coolidge. Ooh, the audience groaned. That was the end of round one. Dirk was leaning four to three. Andrea looked mad, but there was still plenty of time for us to catch up.